used to have racing on the beach and used to compete there. And I used to go there sometimes with them and watch them racing. George raced the Golden Ford between 1911 and 1914. He won dozens of races, most notably when he lined up against one A.B. Coulthard to go on and win the Ford Cup at Brooklands, presented by none other than Henry Ford himself. But all that success didn't come without its dangers. Once when he was racing, for some reason, the car was in flames, exhaust trouble or something. But he finished the race just the same and came in second with a blazing car. That was just my father. He was always different. A. E. George certainly was different. The Golden Ford is the only car we know of to be built with a solid brass body. And looking at its replacement, you can only wonder why. Well, since we last saw the bodywork, it's really moved on the pace, and I think it looks absolutely fantastic. Has it been a difficult job to do, Rod? No, it's a fairly straightforward job. The main thing that we had to do is be very, very careful about marking out all the rivets, drilling the holes in the correct position, mm -hmm. and making sure that we, we don't put any scratches on the material, because it's a polished body and we can't afford any mark or any errors at all. At last, I can lay my hands on the gold stuff itself. And then we've just got to try to ease a little bit of shape in. If you can put a hand either side... Are you sure about this? ...ease a bit of shape in like that. What we're trying to do is to create a sharp shape at your end and a general curve at my end. Yeah, there's no machine in the world that would do this for us, so we just have to use bits of...